of a dramatic turn. Ooh, you're so sweet. Fine, Lioness. Um, excuse me. Oh, I still want to learn a pony in a room pony. Do you know what? Ooh, it's a nice way to connect. One percent. Wee. Squishy. Right, I'm gonna go and give Millie hers. Two pieces of fit you want to glue them together. Most no, people don't. At least you know what you mean. I've just come upstairs now because Whoa! Crazy, crazy. Her favourite sweets. Um, Millie today is going to do a bridal for the hobby horse. Hello and welcome back to another Home Education Journey UK video. It is Thursday the 29th of August and it is just gone half 11, uh, no half 10, half 10 in the morning. We're having a bit of a slow start for, to the day. Um, thought we'd pick up the camera. I'm gonna have to get this one edited really fast because it's meant to go out today. So think, fingers crossed I'll be able to do it. Um, we are celebrating not going back to school day a little bit today. So there's a couple of traditions that we do every year that we're gonna be doing today. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Also just wanna apologize for the last upload of videos. <laughs> it went a bit, yeah wrong it went a bit wrong and i know a couple of you were really excited about sitting down with a cup of tea and watching it as soon as they uploaded um and then i got messages saying um excuse me they're only 24 minutes long as so i went on and i got ted and i was like ted what's come wrong and i have no idea what's come wrong but he came in my little gadget superhero took them down and we re-uploaded and it's all good so yeah apologies for that hopefully that won't happen again I'm still learning with this tech side of things. I'm getting better at the recording and the editing, but the uploading is still taking a bit of practice. Oh, lovely. Sorry, Karen. Do you want to say morning? Morning. I'm making an edit of Bo Johnson. You're making the edit? Yeah, I'm going to call you up because I don't want to get taken off. Copyright. Oh, and well, basically, now that's Nick, it's like, do you, ever want, do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? That. Because Boo had her arm in a really weird position, like, what is, is that going on there? <laughs> she was lying funny, wasn't like, she? I hope that, that was too painful, though. Like, I wouldn't fancy that like that. Like that, look at her leg. That's her leg. Yeah. I mean, Doesn't, sure. Anything for a little bit of sun. You need a, you need a big spray. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to have our not going back to school picnic. So we're just about to go to the shop now, get a few bits for that. Um, yeah, so as oh, always. A bridal for... Oh yes, that's the other thing you can do. Millie is going to, because some of you have reached out and said thank you for the hobby horse video and a lot of you have done it. Um, Millie today is going to do a bridal for the hobby horse so you can add that to um, your hobby horse. When do we do her colour? Do you do colour and bridal? See, let's see how you feel. Which one would you rather do first? Okay, bridal. Bridal and then if we get time to do the head colour, we can. If oh, not, also, just so you can do the head colour. In hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, wool and paper clips. Yes. So and felt possibly, possibly white felt, depends what you want to make. So if you want to join along with that later on today um, to make one for your sock hobby horse then yeah go and get the bits that Millie has just said ready and that will be later on in the video. Right shall we go and get ready for the shop? Okay we'll see you in a little bit. So we've just got back from the shop and Millie spent a bit of her pocket money. Okay. Do you want to see if it works? Ooh. And then when you let it go, it's going to go all the way back through. Can you see it going around your glasses? <laughs> so the day is absolutely whizzing away from us. It's nearly half two. We've been to the shop. We've had lunch. The kids are just having some quiet time. I've been doing a bit of admin and I've just looked at the time. I thought, oh my goodness, it's half two and we haven't done anything else for the vlog. So I've just come upstairs now because part of our not going back to school tradition is the last couple of years, I've got little baskets together. And as I've seen things throughout the year that the children need um, for the following year for home ed supplies, um, I've gathered them up and hidden them. And then I've put them in a basket and given them on the not going back to school day on whichever day it is with you to sort of celebrate that um, and so I've just got all the bits together now and I thought I'd quickly show you before I go and give them to the kids so this one is for Millie and most of the stuff is from the work so I've got her some highlighters some pastely coloured ones some fine liners I've broke the pack with Alfie so they've got four each I've then got her some skittles some post-it notes, these are from Amazon, so I'll link those ones. Her favourite sweets. Some sellotape, chalky, um, 
this mother daughter journal which is so cute from amazon and i'll show you that once i've given it out it is so beautiful and um, some special edition pens a notebook and then at the back um, make your own puffy stickers they're also from amazon as well so i can link those ones that's millie's alfie's is very similar so some highlighters in a different color sticky notes the pens um sellotape some of his favorite chockies another journal but a mother and someone and it's a you pass it back and forth and they're so cute i'll show you both of them pens a pencil case notebook and then a big art book for his um arts award as he's starting the silver one shortly and then for ted it's a bit difficult because he doesn't like paper and he doesn't like stationery so what i do for him is get him a couple of his favorite sweets and then i put some money aside for him to then use it for gadgets or whatever he needs for home ed that is more on the gadget side of things so yeah i'm gonna go and give them to them in a minute right i'm gonna go and give millie hers the boys are busy in a minute so i'll do theirs in a sec <laughs> She's not going back to school basket. Just... <laughs> are you busy in? Yeah. What are you doing, chicken? Making a <gasps> Not the one that you're going to show the no, vlog in a minute. No. Oh, this is my one that I made out of. Is that for your little horse? Yeah. I've, I've nearly done this. Thank you. Hang on. You spy. I spy when I look at my candy kittens. <laughs> you love the candy kittens, don't you? Yeah. Right, can I? Yeah. Some highlighters, like pastel coloured ones, sort of gone with things like I try and do things that you need or might need. Are these fine liners? You love fine liners, don't you? Oh, I like these fine liners. <laughs> and then little notes. Post-it notes. Post-it notes. Your favourites, they're going to last all of five minutes. They, they're going to they're last about 30 seconds. Because we always say, we always say that we never have any sellotape. It's not like I'm getting, getting one for you and Alfie. And then, chocolate. Chocky? And then, I don't know what we can do together. Yeah, you pass it back and forth and you fill it in. Oh, crash. Crash and all that. Oh. I'll hold the back. Let me take the basket away. Oh, look. Okay. The little. Oh, they look quite cool. Just, I'm not sure, but I thought they look quite nice. Very nice. After I open them and see. Felt tip pens. And then a little notebook so I can do. Writing or drawing on them. It's up to you. It's lined, but you can still do drawings if you want. And then. Make your own puffy stickers. How cool are they? Oh, they are cute. <laughs> How do I get into this? Want me to open it? Yeah. Two things that are open straight away. Sweets, stickers, body fuel, and stickers. <laughs> and stickers. So we're going to show you how to do this. It's really cool. Oops, it's really cool, isn't it, Mills? Mm -hmm. We've just done. Where okay. is it? This one. French and fry. Is it sticky? Oh, it's squishy. Okay. So okay, Millie's going to show you, explain as you, as you go, how to do. So now we've done one. A sticker. One of these, and then you also want to get take one of these off, which I don't know how to do this yet. Take the whole square off. You tear mm. off one of the squares mm. like this. And then you take this top side off. Yeah, you take this top side off so it's sticky. sticky. And then you put that in there. That's it. Line it up with a little hole so it pushes through. And then that's it. You pop this one on. The puffy bit. It. and then you can choose it comes with some that are pre-made and there's also some in here that you can colour in so Millie's yeah. going with hot, hot dog. dog and then and close the lid and push really hard <laughs> let's have a look dum, dum, dum. Or keep them like that. Um, 
I don't know. What do they look like on the box? They look cut out. Oh yeah, you could probably you can do either then. Yeah, you could cut mm. cut. I wouldn't. I would leave a tiny gap mm. because it's obviously all got to join together. Otherwise, it might open up. Oh, there's a, there's a thing that you're supposed to follow. Oh, they are. So yes, you are meant to cut them out then. I'm not going to cut that one out though because it will take a bit of different fire. Yeah, that's true. Well, that'll keep you busy for an hour, won't it? Let's see what other ones there is inside. You get these ones to colour in, and these ones, they're so cute. Millie's just cut out the little hot dog one. And they're squishy! So this is a journal I thought I'd quickly show you. The idea is you pass it back and forth between yourself and your child. There's a sun one as well, which I got for Alfie. Ted won't do it, but I might scan it and see if he'll do it on his, lap, on his iPad. I think it'd be nice to have a version for him. And then you fill it, so you fill it out. So what it's like being me, so I would fill that out and then Millie will can read mine and then she'll fill out what it is for her and then I'll read hers and then I'll do the next one. And there's so many different activities. It is American, but it doesn't matter. There's just a few words obviously that are different. But I thought it was so lovely to get a little, it's a little nice activity to do and connect, a nice way to connect. Millie's made a load of them, bless her. I don't know where she's put them all. Don't know where they've gone. Here they are. <laughs> I've got me autumn. I know it's not quite um, September yet, but do you know what? Waking up in the morning and it's dark outside still because I get up like at five. <laughs> um, so I'm like, yes. Saw this in B&M the other day, and I was like, three pound it was, Sorry, I think. Are you gonna go out a bit again? Hang on, stay there. Ooh <laughs> um, Yeah, it was three pounds, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. So I'm just having a cup of tea, but I thought I'd show you because we've never had it before in the field. When we first moved in, we had animals, and then we've just had crops. But the other day, I think I took a picture actually, Hey, duck, duck. I think I took a picture, so I'll put it on if I did. They came really close. The kids love it when they come up right close to the um, the hedge. But, yeah, we've got hay bales. And now that makes me feel really autumnal. Also, I've got game. Hello, miss. Hello. A game on here. Is it one we've shared before? No, it's not. It's one that I made of my own yesterday. With a bottle. You need to fill it and put it about there. Yep. Yeah. Take the bottles easy because you fill it to all out. And then you chuck it. And then you do this. Woo! That was a good jump. That was a really good one. Whoa! <laughs> and you've got plenty of jump. That'll get rid of some energy. Yeah. Oh, it's working okay. <laughs> right, you put it down and then you chuck it. And Good fun. Very inventive. Here's the sun one. Move them out of the way. Ted's got a mind grain, bless him. Um, the sun one is very similar, which me and Alfie will pass by. And like I said, I'm going to scan it if Ted wants to do it as well and, and go along and do it with Ted because it'd be nice to have it and keep. They're really cool. I'll link them. You've made this this morning. You can do, yeah. Not the hobby horse. Not the hobby horse. You did make the hobby horse the other day, though, didn't you? Yeah. But you've made it a head colour. So I think we're going to do the not going back to school stuff and then we'll do the head colour to show people, the yeah? Bridal. The bridal, sorry. Yeah. I'll get mixed up between the two. The bridal. You, call it, you said no colour in a horse. I know what I meant. <laughs> not, everyone not everyone does, no. Everyone Most people least, don't. At least you know what you mean. <laughs> so. These are our not going back to school books. We've had these for a long Seven time. Years. Yeah, since we started, we've been doing these. And, and there's you can see, if you look at the side, you can see where they put Yeah, them. we've done quite a bit, haven't we? And so every year we answer the same questions and we fill them in and we measure and do hand prints. And it's so cool to see how much they've changed. So this is Millie's. I think, yeah. This was the first year, 2018. Look how little they were. He's so sweet. Yeah, and then one. we draw a picture, don't we? 
of ourselves. Of yourself, and that's what you wanted to do. You were only five then. And then we answer questions. So we have favourite colour, and it was pink. Favourite book, Captain Gamma. Hold what that is. We'll have to find out, won't we? I do know which one it is. My favourite thing to watch on the TV were nature programmes. That hasn't changed much. <laughs> you still like watching them, don't you? Yeah. Favourite food is pasta and garlic bread. You still like pasta as well. Pasta. They're going strong. When I grow up, I want to be a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> you might not want to be a cheetah anymore, but you do think they're awesome, don't you? Oh, cool. Um, and her shoe size was a nine. And then I was practising my nine, so that yeah, was 79. Yeah, because you're only small then. And then the things I want to do this year are go to Disneyland. Which we didn't do. We have been to Disneyland though, but we haven't been back, have we, since? That's true. Um, have a holiday, which we would have definitely had a holiday. I can't remember what it was, but we would have had and one. we would have gone to a zoo. And we would have gone to a zoo. We've seen lots of animals over the years, haven't we? I like to draw, and then she did it dog. It looks a bit like a dog that is a bit strange. It's good, you were five. <laughs> Teeny tiny, and then look. Put your hand next to that one. But you see, were 112 centimetres. Can we see how big little me is? Look! And I'll get, um... Wait, where's the tape right here? I'll get the thing to do 112 centimetres. Yeah, see how small you were. And then we went to a, um... I think at the NEC, I can't remember what it's called, but it, then it guessed what... She put some details in, answered some questions. Oh, the Big Bang Fair. And then she got... It told... It said what, um... Her job how might be when she's older. How much There and there. 112. And then we also were at Twy Cross Zoo for a home ed day and we got interviewed and we were on the news. Pardon? Look how tiny you are. I was trying. You haven't grown much in six years. What do you think? But the best things come in small packages, babes. You're perfect. You're perfect milli size. Yeah, we got interviewed. Um, I went to Twy Cross Zoo. And then we got 2009. I won't go through the whole lot, otherwise, we'll be here forever. How much I'll just do the photos. 117. So five was, centimeters we just get to the bit where and I then it was locked down oh, look, you're so cute look at you all i bet some people will remember our vlogs when you were this tiny some people have been watching right from the start the people, if you people if, if you remember our first videos yeah. coming out originally for a long time. yeah if you watch them if when they first, when came, out, first came out comment down below and tell us what year you started watching us that'd be cool you're a good one. <laughs> Anyway. We've definitely got some that I've been watching for a very long time. Right, okay, what was my height? Your height was 117. Yeah. And then... Wait, what was my favourite Look at these, these are cool. I know, I thought they were really good. 121. 121. So I was... that big. Growing gradually. Oh, I look old there. Yeah, you're growing up quite a lot in that year. I did actually, didn't Your I? Your face changed quite a bit. Where is it? <laughs> we all changed quite a bit that year, Yeah. Actually. We all change to look at like the people that we sort of look now. Definitely. If you've only just started home editing or you're just about to, I really recommend you doing Even this. Even if you've been home ed for ages. Just yeah, start just start now. it because it's yeah. so good, isn't it, to it look back really on. Good. 2022, we're getting closer. Oh, you. Oh, that was when I was addicted to my Puma jumper. Do you remember that? Yeah, and, and the glasses. Yeah, so we, we didn't want to take them off, did you? They were like mm. a comfort thing. And then you were a 12. <laughs> They're cool. Oh my god, it's a duck! 132. It's a duck. That was before we had duck as well. Where was it? That was before we had him. That was before we had duck. And then it and was then 132. 132. And then it was last year, look. 32. 132. You see how you're growing? Woo! <laughs> and then this was last year, chick. I've, I've That's not, really I've good. I've grown a growth spurt, but I don't it think so. I am a disassociation You don't think you have had a growth spurt? No. Your horses, you still draw them now, oh, and that was a year ago. That was when I started. I remember drawing them in little, little faces. That we did that really. <gasps> oh, I saw my own pony in a pony. 136 last time we measured you. What's that? 136. Do you think you've grown? Nope. We thought I had a growth spurt, but I think maybe my legs have just got bigger. We'll see. Put it against you, and we'll see. Oh, I think oh, you are. Oh, bit. you are. Ooh. Ooh. We've got to do the measuring in a minute. Yeah, definitely recommend doing one of those. They've all got one each. Um, this year, we're going to fill these ones out and I've created these and they're on our Etsy shop. Um, not going back to school sheets and then we're going to stick them into our book. There's that one and there's that one and there's that one. If you download them on Etsy, you'll get all three to print and you can have whichever one you want or do all three, whichever. You're going to do this one, aren't you? Mm -hmm. The colourful one. Are you cracking into your chocolate? <laughs> We'll measure you and we'll fill this in. So on the bits where it says fun facts, that's where you can put your height 
and some of those questions. Um, did you take a chocolate as well? Because you gave him money instead of me. Yeah, he had money because he doesn't like all chocolate. the stationery. He had chocolate still and sweets. Okay. Not they're not going back to school for them. Yeah, I have a favourite animal. Ooh. Those pens are nice. They're your new yeah. pens, aren't they? We've just opened. We'll see what you fill out when you're finished, eh? Concentration head. Ooh. Ooh. What's it going to be? Imagine Dragons. Imagine Dragons. I, I was in their top 1% last year. Oh really? 1%? Do you love them that much? Yeah. A giraffe? A giraffe and a monkey. Ooh, let's have a look at yours then Mills. We just finished and not going back to school 2024. We've just got to do some measuring in a minute. That's Milzo's picture. She put one of her squishy stickers on. Favourite colour is lilac and pink. Food, tuna pasta. Still. Animal, still, yeah. Animal, horse and dog. Music, Imagine Dragon. Dragons. Mm. Movie, Mitchells and the Machine and Showman. Book, Stick Dog. Great Place. Showman. Pardon? Great Showman. Great Showman. Place is Wales on a horse or on Polly, is that? Or it's Wales on a horse, I'm following. Yeah. Activity, hobby, horsing and crafting. Hobbies, horsey things and crafts. That's really good, darling. And then I have welly socks. We know that from the last vlog. <laughs> I like welly socks. I'm you do. I've got, I've got another two pairs. Yeah. For some reason they shrink down to your feet, which is a bit strange. Not okay. sure why. There's chocolate. Yeah, you might have a couple more bites and then should we save the rest? No. <laughs> You're going to be on a sugar high all. For the rest of the afternoon um, and shoe size is two and then you drew a picture of some of my favorite things are polly ozzy boo duck and the chickens that's beautiful times four. times four well done chicken last year we've just measured excitement excitement out millie even was what were you last year 136 yeah. what are you this year 139 She's grown three centimetres. Finally, since I was six, I've grown. <laughs> Every year so far, Alfie has shot up about six, seven centimetres. This year, he's shot up by half a centimetre. I think Alfie is nearly fully grown. And we can't do Tedsy at the minute because he's got a headache, but we'll let you know how much Ted's grown when he's feeling Boom. better. Headache, Whoa! Be is it still hurting? Yeah. Um, Alfie? Yeah. I think I might. I think I might actually extend the chance of overtaking Alfie. You might do. He's no, grown half a centimetre. Yeah. Should we see how much you've grown? I've barely grown since last year. So, <laughs> so I think I'll actually. I think me and Alfie will be at the same uh, height. We'll see. Let's 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 do you. That's all of them done. Millie's. We've got Teddy, who has grown five centimetres. Millie has grown three centimetres. And Alfie has grown oh. da, 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 half a centimetre. I win. <laughs> Teddy wins this year. Millie has been sticker happy and again. Talking music with the boys. Just, 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 Who, what did everyone say their favourite band was? Green Day. Listen, 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 listen. What was it, Ted? Green Day. Green Day. What did Alfie say? Offspring. The offspring. And yours is Imagine Dragon. Talking music, dragons. aren't we? Dragons, imagine dragons. Sorry, Shh. I know what I meant. Shall we do your horse now? Your horse bridle. Yeah, but can we go on trampoline first? Yes, well, I'll have a quick jump with you and then we'll do your horse bridle before dinner because it's half four. Okay. Yeah? Whee! Whee! We're here. We're going to bounce with a hay bale. Whee! <laughs> wait, okay. oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so I'm going to bounce. You've got to try and bounce me higher. I've got to bounce you higher. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, darling, you can have a dentist sit. Don't fall off the can believe. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Bridal for this horse, are you? but they can change it they to fit, it to just fit. make it bigger, obviously, if yeah. your horse, compared to my hand, you can see how small this horse is. Put him. He's 
name's Bailey. And this he is Bailey Shetland and he's a Shetland pony and he is very cute. So we need wool, scissors, glue gun, masking tape to hold it, or your toes. Or your toes, which I didn't really fancy because I just got a grey on my toes. There. You normally do your toes, I don't think but. You should get on the toes. No. So you get three pieces of wool, three strands. Three strands of all more, depending on how thick you want it to be, but I'm just doing it this thick because she's only got a little face. So if you want it thicker. Bear in mind, um, if the, the tighter you do your plait, the, well, the better it's going to stay in, but the thinner it's going to be, so the looser you do your plait, the thicker it's going to be. But if you want it to be thicker, add more. Add yeah. More, and so, and then, sort of, yeah. yeah. So you've got three strands because that's how many strands you need to do a plait, isn't it? So if someone wanted more, they'd have to have six or nine or 12 to be able to bunch it into three strands to do the plait. Yeah, you can use any tape, but just want to hold it down. Or you can use toes. It's already built into your body, so it's not too much to And then you just start plaiting. You just start plaiting. So uh, if you don't know how to plait, if you don't know how to plait, so you want to take one strand in this finger, pinch it, and then one strand in this finger, and sort of like to cut under your finger. So pinch it with them, and then tuck that under there, and then you want to pull this one over that one, and then yeah, the other I way. Forgot to plant. That's it. The other way then. And then that's it. Like that, and then you take this piece and pull it over, and take that piece and pull it over, and just keep pulling each one out because they'll get stuck when you're doing a plait like this. When it's so long, yeah. make sure the bottom doesn't get tangled. Yeah. You better to go longer, and then to not have. To have too much, they're not to have enough. Then once so, you do Yep. Oh, this is actually quite. This is surprisingly quite strong. It is. I can, oh. oh, never mind. No, it's not. Put that down. <laughs> Turn down some. Um, and then once you've done that, once you've done your plait as long as you want it to, also make sure it fits your horse's nose. The rest of it, you're going to use that for something else. Yeah. Oh, well, this bit's gone a bit thicker than what I wanted it to. Oh, so. okay. Um, so that bit's just for the bit round the nose. Yeah, you need two of these if you're going to make a... There's certain types of bridles where there's like a nose piece, it's normal nose piece, and then it goes up around the mouth a bit further, so this one would be like here more. Right. And there'd be another one that sort of goes off, there'd be like a pad here, and then another one that goes around the mouth. Right, okay. Like that, if that makes sense, which is all that I'm going to make. And then once you've done that, you want to sort of like that, put, put your fingers like that, and then pull it through. And then, you just want to make sure you get as much as possible in. And then pull it down. Or make sure it does not come off of the loop. And then pull it really tight. And make then, a knot. Yeah. And then, and then take this out. You have to knot the other end. Yeah, because you see where that's gone really loose. Yeah. And this bit's a bit tighter. So then, I was going to make a knot there. So you just want to wrap it around these two fingers. And then grab it like that and pull it through. Perfect. And then put it really tight and then just cut the ends off. And then you want to get um, some felt. This is going to be white felt that I have. It's very sad. And then you want to cut like a square or a circle. That's probably going to be a bit too big. To go on his nose. On his nose. So you want to measure the nose of the horse? Yeah. And you can do it in a square or you can do it in a circle. A hexagon sort of shape. So like that. And then Perfect. one piece will go sort of, sort of sort of sit there. One piece will go up this way and go down there and another piece will go down this way. Perfect. You want to sort of put it in the middle and then glue it so that it's curved, like that. Once it's the right size, you just, no, it's not quite the right size yet. Um, so once it's the right size, and you've made this sort of little curve shape, it's sort of going to sit there, and then you want to pull it sort of around, and then, two pieces of fit, you want to glue them together. Glue them so together. Glue you... both of the knots together at the ends like that, once you've got the right length. So like the boys. The next thing that you need to do. Hang on a sec, sweetheart. Go on. So the next thing that you need to do. For the third time. Um, is just make that again, 
but just make it so that it folds out that way and then goes around the mouth like that. You don't have to make a pad again, but just to make the... The, the loop, so you've mm. got to get some more yeah. strands and do some more plaiting. Yes. And then you just want to do the same thing with um, this one and just put it together and put it on here the same that you did with this one. And then you just want to make sure that it fits. It's so cute. Can you sort of see the sort of broader look that I'm going for? Yeah, I think that looks really, really cute. And then the next step is to do another um, plait that's going to go all the way around the back of the head. And then you want to get um, a different coloured uh, wool and then plait that for, to make the bit. Or you can use paper clips or whatever you really like. So then once you have got um, your bit to go around the ears, um, you want to just make your bit and just make it the same um, as you made all your other pieces. Or you can just use paper clips um, and then just attach that onto there. So once you have made your um, grey bit of wool, you just want to glue it onto um, the black bit that's going to go around the back of the ears and then just do it on the other side, but make sure that it fits your horse's mouth and fits around their head before you do that. And then once, it on, once it's on, I went wrong here, so I just had to cut it, cut the pieces of yarn apart, knot them, and then just glue them back together again. Um, so once you've done this, you just want to glue it onto this part um, above it as well, not underneath it. And you don't want to glue it to this, but you just want to glue it to this one. And then once you've glued that on, this is just um, what is going to make keep all the bridle as one piece. And um, the reason we don't want to be gluing this bit on is because um, we don't we want it to be separate. So we, so it's connected up here but we don't want it to all be connected onto here because it's going to make it easy to put it on if it's not connected to this piece, if that makes sense. Um, so the next step that you're going to do is you're going to want to make um, the throat piece which goes underneath the chin and because it's quite tight it just pulls this down a little bit so the horse obviously hasn't got a bit of yarn in its eyeball like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's the next step. You just want to plait that again and then just pop it on there. What I like to do in my bridles is I just like to fold the bit, oh, just like to fold the bit of wool over and glue it like that, so that it can still move around. So if, so um, it's not just stuck in one place. So if it doesn't, like you can move it upwards this way, or you can down, like you could just move it wherever you want to, um, instead of it just being stuck into one place. So this is optional. You can do this if you want to, but if you don't, then that was fine as well. It will still work just the same. Then once you have um, done that and you can see my mine slides around a little bit you want to make a brow bun which will go across the forehead of the horse i'm going to make mine a little bit thicker so that i can glue some gems or i think i might glue some um gray wool on the brow band just to make it look a bit more fancy so then once you've done that you just want to glue it on and glue whatever you want to do then glue whatever you want onto your brow band so then once you've got your brow band on um, you just want to make a really, really, really long, or just like, um, just want to make some reins, and then you just want to paper clip that to the bit. This is what the finished product looks like. I'm super, super happy with this. I think it looks really, really cute. I really love it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial, um, and I hope you guys make a bridle that you really love as well. So just finished Bailey's bridle. Hopefully, Doctor Zink. So it's eight o'clock, and things <laughs> took a bit of a dramatic turn. After Millie had done her hobby horse, bless her, she went outside to ride it and she went splat and she's bruised a massive bruise all up her leg and cut all of her knee. So I've been spending the last hour making sure she's okay, finishing up with dinner, tidying up and doing all those things. So we're gonna finish our not going back to school celebrations tomorrow with a not going back to school picnic. And also we have a cake and stuff to decorate, which we'll do on the vlog tomorrow because we're actually recording again tomorrow. I'm gonna go now and I hope I hope I can get this vlog up tonight. It's eight o'clock and I need to have a shower and stuff first, so fingers crossed. But if, if it's not, obviously you'll see it. it'll be up in the morning. I'm just saying you went with this flat, didn't you, babe? Yeah. You got your jammies on now, haven't you? Hey. You've had lots of hugs, haven't you? Yeah. And we put some cream on. But it didn't really end how we thought it was gonna end, did it? What didn't? The day. Yeah. <laughs> but never mind. Never mind. You're gonna go and chill now and I'm gonna have a shower and lock up and go and try and get into bed and edit this vlog hopefully so we're going to end it here do you feel like you want to end it yes should we say thank you for watching thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time bye
Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>